Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna share with you the fastest way to do implicit differentiation. Let's get started. Suppose you want to find dy dx, derivative of y with respect to x, given that x cubed y squared minus 5y raised to 4 plus 3x squared y is equal to 10. If you know the technique that I have in mind, then probably you can get dy over dx in 10 seconds. But before that, uh, let us find first dy over dx using the usual procedure and that is taking the derivative of both sides with respect to x and then solving dy dx. Okay, so here, so if we're given uh, this equation, so using uh, usual procedure, we take the derivative of both sides with respect to x and we'll get taking the derivative of the first term with respect to x treating y as a function of x will get we need to use derivative here of a product okay so that is equal to x cubed times the derivative of y squared with respect to x so we need to apply chain rule because y is a function of x so that is times 2y derivative of y with respect to x and then plus y squared times the derivative of x cubed which is equal to 3x squared now, the derivative of this one, we just need to apply chain rule because y is a function of x or the extended power rule. So here we'll get 20y cubed times the derivative of the base, which is y, derivative of y with respect to x. Now we take the derivative of the third term, uh, 3x squared y, again applying derivative of a product, and we'll get 3x squared times the derivative of y with respect to x plus y times the derivative of 3x squared which is equal to 6x. So we're done with the calculus part here uh, with uh, the differentiation. So what is left is only algebra. So we need to solve for dy over dx. So we need to isolate all the terms with dy and uh, dx. So we'll get the following. So uh, this one produces this uh, 2x cubed y times dy dx. And then this produces this 20y cubed dy dx. And then this one produces this uh, 3x squared dy dx and of course just isolate the common factor which is equal to dy dx and we move all the terms without dy dx to the other side of the equation so this uh, 6xy okay becomes negative 6xy and then a 3x squared y squared becomes okay negative 3x squared y squared when we move it to the other side of the equation and the last step is of course to divide both sides by the coefficient of uh, dy over dx and we'll get the answer derivative of y with respect to x is equal to this expression divided by this expression now let's do this in a fast way super fast way if you know the fast technique that i have in mind then probably you can get the derivative of y with respect to x in 10 seconds okay let me show it to you how to find uh, dy over dx so again just by looking at this uh, problem so i can already determine uh, the derivative of y with respect to x here as equal to negative of uh, 3x squared y squared plus 6xy and then all over you have there a uh, 2x cubed y minus 20y cubed plus 3x squared so how did i arrive to this uh, answer here so i considered this part okay as a function of uh, two variables uh, x and y and of course here we have a constant uh, on the right hand side of the equation and from a multivariate calculus actually you can derive this equation dy over dx is equal to the negative of the partial derivative of f with respect to x all over partial derivative of f with respect to y 
Let me explain this partial derivative in case you don't have a background of uh, multivariate calculus. So we use a partial derivative when we compute for the derivative of a function of more than one variable with respect to one of its uh, variables. So just like in this one, we're computing the derivative with respect to x, but since f is a function of x and y it is only a partial derivative and also this one we're taking the derivative with respect to y and since f is a function of x and y it is a partial derivative and finding partial derivatives is like finding derivatives so here you only consider the x as your variable and y as constants and when you're taking the derivative with respect to y here you treat y as your variable and the x variable is considered as constant. So by applying this uh, formula here, if f of x, y is equal to this expression, so then if we take the partial derivative with respect to x, so we treat y here as constant, so the derivative will be the derivative of this one, y is constant, so just copy the constant y squared and take the derivative of x cubed, and that is equal to 3x squared. And then this will be constant, so its derivative is equal to 0, and then plus, copy the y, it's constant, and then times the derivative of 3 x squared which is equal to 6x and now when we take the derivative of f with respect to y treating x as constant then we'll get x cubed times 2y and that is equal to 2x cubed y and then times the derivative of this which is 20y cubed and then plus 3x squared times the derivative of y with respect to y which is equal to 1 and uh, this one is actually the same expression as what we got a while ago. Let's try another one and let's use the fast technique that we have. So we have here tangent of x minus y squared equal to y cubed sine x. So again, we have to write this equation first in the form f of x, y equal to a constant. So we need to move this expression to the left hand side and we'll get tangent of x minus y squared minus y cubed sine x equal to zero. Now, the left hand side will be our function okay, of x and y. Okay, and uh, using our fast technique, the derivative of y with respect to x is the negative of this fraction. So partial derivative with respect to x over partial derivative with respect to y. Again, when you compute for partial derivative, just take the derivative as you usually do and consider other variables as constant. So here in the numerator, just take the derivative of this f with respect to x, but treat y as constant. And when you take the partial derivative with respect to y, uh, partial derivative of y with respect to y, then treat the y as your variable and consider x as constant. Using this uh, formula, we'll get here uh, derivative of y with respect to x is equal to so partial derivative of f with respect to x. So we take the derivative considering y as constant, so the derivative of tangent u is secant squared u times the derivative of this with respect to x. Again, y is constant. So the derivative of this one, it is just 1 minus 0, which is equal to 1. And then minus the derivative of this one, again, y is constant, so y cube is constant. So just copy that down and then take the derivative of sine x with respect to x, which is equal to cosine x. Now, partial derivative with respect to y, so we take, we consider this as a function of y only, so x is constant. So when, it, when we take its derivative with respect to y will be secant squared u, times the derivative of x minus y squared with respect to y. So x is constant, so this will give us 0. And then minus the derivative of negative y squared is equal to negative 2y. And then minus the derivative of this with respect to y, treating x as constant, so you just copy the sine x, and derivative of y cubed with respect to y is 3y squared. Simplifying a little bit our answer, so we distribute this negative sign to the denominator. So we'll get here positive 2y 
secant squared of x minus y squared plus a 3y squared sine x. Now, you may try to find a dy dx using the technique that you usually do in class and check whether you'll get the same expression for dy over dx. Now, let's try one more problem using this fast technique. So, let's find dy dx given that x cubed e to the y plus x squared sine of y cubed minus y ln x equals 0. This is already a function of x, y equal to a constant. So our f of x, y here is the left-hand side. So using our formula, our dy dx, derivative of y with respect to x, is equal to the negative of this one, partial derivative with respect to x over partial derivative with respect to y. So again, we compute the derivative with respect to x first, treating y as constant. So we just copy e to the y, derivative of x cubed is a 3x squared. And then plus, again, this is just a constant, times the derivative of x squared, which is equal to 2x, and then minus y is just a constant times the derivative of ln x is equal to 1 over x. And then we find the derivative with respect to y considering x as constant. So therefore, this x cubed here is constant. Derivative of e to the y with respect to y is e to the y. And then plus x squared is again constant. Derivative of sine u is cosine u times the derivative of u with respect to x is, uh, with respect to y, the derivative of y cubed with respect to y is 3y squared. Then the derivative of y ln x is just ln x because ln x is constant. And the derivative of y with respect to y is just equal to 1. And we simplify our answer because we have here a complex fraction. So uh, to make this a simple one, we just multiply the numerator and denominator by x. And we'll get here this expression. So you have one more copy of x here. So that becomes x cubed x squared and then this becomes y and the denominator you have x to the 4 x cubed and then x ln x all right so this is the end of this lesson if you enjoyed learning this fast method of implicit differentiation please click the like button below and share this video to your friends if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please click the subscribe button so you won't miss any of my videos again this is dennis of ko math thank you for watching and hope to see you in my next video